Today, we have yet another stick insect unboxing video. Hello, 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 and welcome back to Bug Realms. On this channel, we like to discuss all things creepy crawly. So if that's something that interests you, please consider subscribing to the channel. So if you don't already know, guys, I'm sure you do by now, uh, we are suffering through demonetization. Um, but I'm not letting it, letting it get me down. I saw some stick insects for sale that are absolute must-haves for Project Paradise. Now, there is a species in here that is, it's not rare, but I've never been able to get hold of it apart from getting some over now and again. And to see actual nymphs for sale just got me well excited because they are a species that I really want to be able to explain in a Phasmid Files video for you guys down the line because they've got some exceptional skills, defense mechanisms. And then there is another species in here that I consider to be rare in the hobby, at least over here in the UK. And it's also what I would call an intermediate species. And that's because some great and fantastic breeders that I personally know haven't succeeded with these. So there's no guarantee that I will be able to do it. I'm not better than anybody else, but I'm going to give it a bloody good go. So just going to take out the packing which is the first one that we are going to come across now with this seller they're not labeled usually so I kind of have to look at the nymphs and distinguish them myself so we've got the two species they are taped together right now I can't actually see yes I can see oh hoo, hoo, hoo. okay I think I know which is which here or, oh no they are they are labeled on the side this time Fantastic, even better then. Okay, come on, knife of Dean. Ah, oh, yes. Sorry, I've got to have a look at them before you guys do, all right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Is that eight nymphs? I only paid for six, I believe. Um, this seller is always good enough to chuck me in a few extra. Well, I say always when she's got the surplus to do so. The beautiful little tykes that we have living in here are the Anisomorpha paramalis. Do you ever remember me talking about the Anisomorpha genus? The stick insects with the potent spray. In several videos I've talked about how Anisomorpha have such a potent chemical spray defense that if it gets in your eyes you will not be able to see. These are the ones that can cause you temporary blindness. So if you are caught in the eyes with these, you must wash them thoroughly. And personally, I'd handle them with goggles. Now at this age, they're not gonna be able to cause me any harm, but they are so, so dinky right now, guys, that we're gonna come back to these in a moment to take a look at them better. Now then. What do we have in here? Let me just get this tape off a second. All right, tape's off. And these are bigger than I expected specimens. Have we got adults in here? I think we've been provided adults here and I'm shocked because not everyone manages to raise these okay. In here are the Malacomorph Silaris a Jamaican species. And this specific species that we've got in here are from Stuart Castle in Jamaica. Now, I've never seen these insects in the flesh. And the reason I reckon they're mature is because one of these has his wings. Our stick insects with wings normally mean maturity. And now there's a, another one here, a larger specimen that has wing buds um, I'll have to oh somebody's molted in here as well so we've got to hope they're okay so I'm not sure whether the female is mature yet or whether they do get fully winged that's something I'm gonna to have to double check as I said I have never seen this species in the flesh Wow 
Okay, so I'm gonna bring the camera over. We're gonna have a better look at these guys. Um, I'm so excited to own them. They are both privet eaters. You can feed them both exclusively off privet. Um, the anisomorpha, I've never known really for anyone to bother feeding anything else. Um, whereas these, there might possibly be other food plants for us to find. I am well chuffed. I am well chuffed. Right, let's have a look at these. Ooh, sit down. Right, excuse the state of my desk. Um, this is the day after I did the live stream with the mantis and so on. So let's bring it into the light a bit more. So this one here may potentially have been the one that molted um, in transit because it's a bit lighter. Somebody's making noise outside. Why every time I film do you have to do this? So sorry about that. Um, now I'm suspecting this to be a female because the fully winged one is a smaller specimen that we have in here. Now I really don't want to disturb her much if she has just molted. Now I know very very little about the Malacomorph except for the fact they keep these beiges and browns and that they're not the easiest of species in my opinion or what I've read to raise. Now if we turn over this leaf you see how this one has established wings. In fact let me try and get this one out. I have to put the camera down for a second guys. Oh they are fast. This one just legged it. I'm not used to stick insects being so speedy. But as you can see, although there looks like to have been possibly a little bit of damage at the end of the wings, that these are fully established wings and is smaller than this one that has wing buds. So my guess here is that this is a mature male and this is possibly a subadult female unless they only keep smaller wings. I know it's unusual to hear me talk about stick insects with so little knowledge on a species, but that's what's great about Project Paradise and what we're doing here. I'm learning about new ones and the information provided about these is so slim compared to some other species. Should we get the macro lens out and have a look at these before we have a look at the anisomorpha? Well, we're gonna regardless. Let's put the lens on. Ooh, ba -ba. Okay. Let's have a zoom and get our focus. So you can see here, long antenna, nice brown and beige colorations. There's the edging of the wings and they'll lead all the way down to almost the end of the abdomen. It looks like they've had some curling there. So it's potentially damaged wings, but that's okay. And now we'll move back on to the other specimen we had here. So this one's lighter, but again, I'm not sure if this is lighter due to this one being the one that molted. I'm not entirely sure. It's got some little like warty spines on there as well, but they just look like budding wings to me, but I could be wrong. This is something I'll have to update you when I've done my own care research. And by that I mean the research I have from caring for these myself rather than online sources or sources of other breeders. Beautiful. So I've took the macro off for a minute because I need to get this guy back in but I want to show you how skittish these guys can be. Like how much he ran was incredible. Are you going to come on to me dude? Come on to my thumb? Now he's not going to be doing any running right now, but let me see if I can find oh, another specimen. There's the old malt. So perhaps if I were to lift this out, just a moment. Let's just look in the box first. So we have another one here, fully winged. Going a bit schizo in here. And you see this one is about the same size as that fully winged one, 
but it doesn't have the wings so that's why I'm assuming mature male and immature female now I'm gonna end up losing these if I'm not careful so I need to get them to come all back into this tub come on girly look at him trying to escape or her sorry come on now come on come on <laughs> fiddly 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 right who else do we have on these leaves then so we've got another one here we've got one two three four five so there is one more around somewhere oh there it is you crafty devil right while that one goes over there I don't want to touch that tape though let's have a look at this one so this is a darker one with those oh goodness me these guys are jumpy darker one but still has the wing buds there I'm not sure if you can make them out so this lighter one must have been the molted one for sure now and this must be what I'm guessing to be a sub-adult female but could well be adult female if adult females don't grow full length wings and I've just noticed that the male in here his wings are in much better condition you can see there's no like misshapenness to the end of them in comparison to the original male we took out there I'm sorry the lighting isn't the best today so I need to get this where's he gone this little escapee back in with our plants a moment and then we can have a look at the anisomorpha babies which are tiny by the way really really tiny so I'll be back in a click of a button so these tiny little dots are our anisomorpha so they are very young nymphs right now so I'm gonna pop the macro lens back on for you And that's about the best I can get so they're nothing to look at right now but I can assure you these guys grow some beautiful colorations beautiful markings and have that ridiculously potent spray and as we said privet eaters and pretty easy to care for if research does me justice anyway so at a young age these are a bit more vulnerable uh, they are a bit more riskier um, to die but I reckon we'll do just fine. So there isn't much more to look at with the anisomorpha, so I'm gonna take that back off because I don't want any running out because they'll be much harder to find. But I can tell you now that if I can keep these alive, keep these growing up, we are gonna have one hell of a video about these guys, one hell of a Phasmid Files video. I am well chuffed with today's purchases. Now, I think these cost me around about eight pounds for these these anisomorpha and I can't remember what these ones cost probably quite a similar amount considering I never ever see them available um, I see hobbyists here and there posting about these and saying how only certain ones have made it to adulthood so that might well be because of the lack of information on the internet which is why I really need to knuckle down and learn these guys so that I can provide that information on YouTube so that other people don't make the same mistakes but of course I've got to not make the same mistakes either so this is going to be an interesting learning curve for Project Paradise we have got our potent sprayers and our more intermediate level um, harder to keep species that looks like she's already provided me them at a really good age so that's going to be it for the unboxing i'm afraid now i would just like to add for those of you that were here for tarantulas we are not giving up on tarantula videos they will be coming back um i'm not entirely sure whether i'm going to feature some rehouses on live videos yet you'll probably know before me because this video is filmed in advance um i think this video will be coming out two weeks after i've recorded it something like that so who knows what's going to happen on my live streams You'll have to have watched them to find out. But we will be doing some tea videos. I really want to make a nice environment for my Therophosa Sturmy. So the Sturmy is gonna go into a nice big glass enclosure that I've had for a while. It was actually the enclosure that belonged to my mature male Lassidora Parahabana. 
um, which actually went off to March Tarantulas for breeding with Elaine. And we do have slings. I'm just awaiting at this moment in time for Mark to send me my batch of slings. Um, they're molting a lot slower than we expected. And that's no problem if you're watching this, Mark. I'm a patient guy and you did all the hard work. So there we go. So yes, there will be tarantula videos coming back, guys. There will be isopod videos coming back too. I have a major plan in motion for isopods as well. Um, but it's it's a plan that's going to take quite a long time to, to do. And I will need to have the finances behind me. But if the plan's successful, it should actually then in turn benefit Project Paradise, which of course is our main project at the minute, our stick insect dispersion project and research project. So I'm going to end the video there. Thank you for those of you that still stick by me, even with the kind of jittered content and the one live a week and one video a week rather than our two standard videos. Um, it's been an absolute pleasure. The lives are going better than I thought. And I'm just going to keep talking if I don't end this video here. So <laughs> thanks for watching, guys. Take care. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.